Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the speed improvements you can achieve with sentence transformers. So let's start. I have about 13,000 sentences. I have my sentence transformer here in Colab. I have chosen a pre trained uh, model, Paraphrase Mini LM L12 version 2. I have now an encoding function for my sentences. My batch size is 128, progress bar true, and I have a normalization of the embeddings is true. I have a query. My query is one sentence that I defined. It is not part of the 13,000 normal sentences. And you can see you have also several queries, but for sake of simplicity, let's say we have one single uh, query and I do the same. I have here my encode function and I encode my single sentence. My query batch size is identical and all the parameters are identical here to my sentences. You see now differently to the default where you have normalized embedding is false. I set the normalized embeddings of both parameter to true. And now I use from the sentence transformer the function utility, and I have a semantic search option where I input my query embedding and my sentence embedding. I say I want to see the 15 top sentences, my chunk size. If you have a lot of sentences, you can slice it down. You have a corpus chunk size, and here the uh, score function is here dot, a normalized dot product and not a cosine similarity. And one of the questions I want to have a look for me is how fast is the dot score operation compared to the normal cosine similarity function? And it's quite significant. So let's have a look at this. I have my paraphrase mini L12. And this should be done here. We are operating on Colab. I already did the calculation for you. The wall time is about 4.1551 seconds for 13,000 sentences. And here you see the sentences. The artificial intelligence system tells me this sentence here, develop nanowires, controlled by design functionalities, engineering structure, and nanoscale. This is the semantic closest sentence I found with my pre-training of the model paraphrase mini LML12. Given the query here, establish a topological anti system as a novel versatile platform for future energy efficient nanoelectronics. So from 13,000 sentences, this is the solution with this mini LML6. Four seconds. L12, the bigger brother, takes about a double time, eight seconds, and you get a different sentence. Now, this sentence here, if you're a physicist, uh, works graphene layered uh, benefit nanostructure up to electronic devices, is also quite a nice fit to my query. And of course, because here the model L12 has a bigger trained body of document, of texts, of sentences, you will get a different pre-trained function and a different result. And the result, as you can see here, is very well within the working limit that we are looking for. Now, the still Roberto, of course, is an old model, but MPNet base version two here takes considerably longer. You see here four seconds, eight seconds, 23 seconds for 13,000 sentences. And you get an interesting result also. Utilize realized topological nanowire based electronic spintronic devices. Very interesting. Okay. It takes quite some time for this to materialize, but good. And the distilled reverter, the classical, if you want, for the paraphrase mining, takes about 12 seconds, half the time of MPNet, and gives you, I would say, a general, very general sentence given my very specific query for future energy efficient nanoelectronics. This has been done in Colab with a GPU. I have a Tesla 4. And if 
you're interested if you have a CPU only on your home PC and you have no graphics card, no GPU with CUDA cores available, these are the times, those are the identical four models and you see here, instead of 12 seconds with Colab, I have five minutes, 44 seconds, instead of 11 minutes here with my PC. And Colab does it in 23 seconds. What's interesting, the last three models uh, have the same sentences, identical sentences between a CPU only and a GPU acceleration. Only the still Roberto base version one gives a different result as the top sentence that has the most significant semantic closeness to my query. So call up if you wanna have some acceleration. Okay, not CPU only. Uh, a T4 is a very nice GPU to do your calculation here. But you also see that a model that just takes four seconds to calculate this, well, let's say for eight seconds, gives a very good result compared to 23 seconds. So the factor here is two, and there's another significant jump in performance. So the new models, they really, really are something. And I will use Mini LML12 now as my preferred system here for paraphrase mining. Uh, you have here now the time CPU and whatsoever. Now, what's interesting is you see here, I operated with normalized embeddings and I used the dot product for my cosine similarity since all the tensor, the embedding tensors of the sentences and the single query tensor is normalized. Therefore, the dot product. And if you say now, okay, uh, I have now a speed test, if you want. I have my sentence embeddings, I have my query embeddings. I transfer them to CUDA. This takes about 567 microseconds. And then I perform the dot score operation for my utility. So I have the normalized dot product. It takes me about, hey, that's, that's fascinating. Six milliseconds, heaven's sake, I was, wow. There's a variation in the, in the result. Oh, that's close to what I know. So before I tested it, I received 626 microseconds. And compared with this, I would say this operation is about one, takes about one second to calculate the cosine similarity based on a normalized dot product. But of course, we want to have a check if we have the same operation with now the score function is a cosine similarity and we have no normalized operator we have of course check out that we perform now here we go where is it here my embeddings my sentence transformer with the mini lml12 this is my sentence transformer model and I now encode here all my 13,000 sentences. I have now normalized embedding full, so I have no normalized tensor I will get as a return. I have now here my query is exactly the same query as defined below and my embedding, my code of the query is identical and also a non-normalized tensor. I just calculate now my here you are, my query embedding non-normalized and now i'm in position where are we here utility cosine similarity with non-normalized embedding so this is what i normally have if i do a cosine similarity and i now calculate the time it takes me in this case and is if there is a speed up and wow this is quite fast heaven's sake 1.75 milliseconds. So if you compare it to 837 plus 567, it is not so significant the difference because before it took me four milliseconds compared to one millisecond or 1.2 milliseconds. So that was a factor of three multiplicative, but now it is, it is real close. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> 
whatever I do to the Coco listen. I should do about 10 calculations and got the meanwhile 4.8 milliseconds. So I don't think that there is any clear conclusion. I mean, it depends on the workload, I suppose, or I don't know why, but in general, I can tell you that if I use the normalization and I use the utility dot operator, on the normalized tensors, there is a significant improvement in time. And I can recommend this score function util dot score to get some speed improvement. But of course, as I already showed you here, the real speed improvement here is in the model you're choosing. And these are only pre-trained models. I have no uh, training on the model, I have no unsupervised learning on the model they are fresh out of hugging face <laughs> just pre-trained by their creator and the differences you get with a model here different signs of course and of different dimensionality is quite impressive so if you want to improve your runtime have a look at the new models it's really worth to try and i can tell you that the result here now i have here the european research projects and if you choose for energy efficient nanoelectronics the result that you get back if you look at for example the next 15 sentences at the top 15 sentences in this epsilon environment of my query this is really impressive and of course you have the non-lexical results so you get results that are really workable and yeah Summing up this video, have a look at your model. Check out the new pre-trained sentence embedding models. They have really a nice performance. They, have, they are fast, they have a good result. And if you wanna squeeze out the last little bit, then normalize your tensors in, instead of a cosine similarity like I normally do, go for a dot product you can get a little bit of a speed improvement over there. And have a look at your own system, at your task, at your use case experiment. You see it is quite easy to do some speed tests and check out the pre-trained models. Thank you.